Hello students, a very very good evening to all of you. Welcome to my channel. This is a very important class on KBS PGT English Literature exam and today is class number 6. Today we will read another, uh, another interesting poem from class 12 English syllabus. But before starting, I want to give you a brief introduction about myself. My name is Vrishti Mukherjee. I have qualified NDA UGC NET exam in English literature four times and have also qualified West Bengal SET examination. I have three years of teaching experience. Moreover, I have also taught in NPTEL online course from IIT Madras three times. So that is all about myself. This is the link of my Telegram channel. The link is also given in the description box. So those of you who have not joined yet, Please join to get notification of all important classes and also please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel so that many more new learners can join. These are the timings of your classes Monday to Friday at 8.30 pm, Saturday, Sunday off so don't forget to join me live. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notification. <clears throat> okay. So uh, let's start. Today we will read another interesting poem from class 12 English syllabus that is Aunt Jennifer's Tiger written by Adrian Rick. Adrian Rick. Okay, Aunt Jennifer's Tiger. So today we will read this poem. It is a very uh, short poem based on the theme of feminism. But before starting the poem, let's look at the biography of the poet. So Adrienne Rich, uh, her full name was Adrienne uh, Cecile Rick. She was born on 16th May 1929 in Maryland, US. She was an American feminist of 20th century. Basically, uh, she was famous uh, not only as a poet, but also as a feminist. She studied at Roland Park Country School. She earned diploma from Radcliffe College. She was graduated from Oxford University. She was married to Alfred Conrad, professor of economics at Harvard University. And W.H. Auden, this is an important information for, uh, from your net point of view also. W.H. Auden selected a change of world. This is the name of her debut poetry collection. Her debut poetry collection. Okay, so Change of World, uh, this was her first poetry collection. So that was chosen by W.H. Auden for Yale Series of Younger Poets Award. Yale Series of Younger Poets Award. Okay, so this is another imp uh, interesting information. Next, kya hai ki, uh, she wrote some poems related to the relationship with her father. So this is two poems, ke naam aate hai, Sources and After Dark. These are two single poems, not collections. These are the names of other collections. The Diamond Cutters published in 1955. Snapshots of a Daughter-in-Law 1963. Diving into the Wreck. This is a very famous collection published in 1973. Good evening, Ektaba. Welcome. So these are about uh, her poetry collections. And she died on 27th March 2012 at Santa Cruz in America. Okay, so that is about the biography of Adrian Rick. She was uh, famously an American feminist. So today we will going to read her important poem Aunt Jennifer's Tigers, which is class 12 uh, ke syllabus, mein hai, CBSC class 12 syllabus, mein, and it is also a part of your KVS PGT syllabus. So now let's look at the poem. It is a very small poem. Okay, just... Uh, three stanza me divided hai. So, dekho, Aunt Jennifer's Tigers. So, tiger here is a metaphorical symbol. We will talk about that. First of all, Aunt Jennifer, she is the major character here. So, yahan par jo description de raha hai, wo kuch aisa hai, ki Aunt Jennifer is trying to weave a particular cloth, uh, or jo bhi aap baat karo, usme wo ek embroidery ka kaam karte hai. And in that embroidery, she has been uh, trying to uh, portray the image of a tiger. So, usi ke baare mein yaha par description hai apparently. Dekho kya keh rahe hai, Aunt Jennifer's tigers. Aunt Jennifer's tigers prance across a screen. Bright topaz denizens of a world of green. 
they do not fear the men beneath the tree they pace in sleek chivalric certainty so it is describing the embroidery it is it is describing the embroidery which was made by uh, aunt jennifer so usme ek tiger ka image hai this is the image of the tiger given in the book aunt jennifer's tiger sprints across a screen screen refers uh, screen here refers to the cloth ठीक है जिसके ऊपर वो मतलब जो 3D काइंड ऑफ इफेक्ट होता है ना वही एक टाइप का यहाँ पर बताया जा रहा है तो आंट जेनिफर टाइगर्स द टाइगर्स क्रिएटेड बाय आंट जेनिफर दे आर प्रसिंग अक्रॉस स्क्रीन प्रसिंग रेफर्स टू द रॉयल मूवमेंट ऑफ द टाइगर ठीक है टाइगर जिस तरीके से मूव करते हैं तो इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट आंट जेनिफर टाइगर प्रस अक्रॉस अ स्क्रीन Bright topaz denizens of a world of green. Bright topaz denizens. Topaz is a very beautiful and very valuable a uh, stone. ठीक है. तो denizens का मतलब है inhabitants of a particular place, right? So they are the denizens of a world of green. Obviously, it refers to the forest. You can easily understand. so they are the residents they are the denizens or the local people uh, not people exactly local uh, inhabitants of the forest so they are portrayed in such a way as if they are like the bright stone or the bright pearl topaz okay inside um, on that particular piece of cloth jiske upar aunt jennifer embroidery kar rahe to embroidery unka itna acha hai ki wo ek tiger ki image वहां पर वीव कर रहे हैं विथ हार नीडल्स एंड दैट इमेज इज शोइंग अ टाइगर अ वेरी रॉयल काइंड ऑफ टाइगर हु हैज दैट काइंड ऑफ अ रॉयल मूवमेंट तो प्रांसिंग अक्रॉस द स्क्रीन एंड इट लुक्स लाइक अ ब्राइट स्टोन और अ ब्राइट पर्ल इन साइड दैट वर्ल्ड ऑफ फॉक्स ओके नेक्स्ट लाइन में देखो क्या है दे डू नॉट फियर द मेन बिनीथ द ट्री they pace in slick chivalric certainty first of all i will tell you the apparent meaning then i will go to the inner meaning theek hai nahi to confusion ho jayega to dekho apparently it is totally describing the image of the uh, embroidery theek hai so the tigers they do not fear the men to tigers ko uh, shikar karne ke liye kuch particular men wahan par hai under a tree beneath the tree but the tiger has not any fear against those men they pace in slick chivalric certainty their movements their gesture ha uh, have a great kind of confidence theek hai to isko wo chivalric keh rahe hain chivalry aap sabko pata hai theek hai acha you have read this poem yes that's great ekta bhai yes it is very symbolic and very beautiful so they pace in slick chivalric certainty so chivalric refers to that knightly values आपने हिस्ट्री में पढ़ा है तो हियर शिवालिक रेफर्स टू द कॉन्फिडेंट द कॉन्फिडेंट एटीट्यूड और द फियरलेस एटीट्यूड ऑफ द टाइगर्स इट इज रेफरिंग दैट एंड स्लिक स्लिक मींस अ वेरी स्मूथ एंड क्विक इन मूवमेंट स्लिक लाइक लीजर्स हमने डिस्कस uh, किया था इन द पोएम लेबरनम टॉप राइट right? तो वही स्लिक वर्ड यहाँ पर यूज किया गया स्लिक मीन्स वेरी स्मूथली वेरी ब्यूटीफुली वेरी नीटली दे कैन मूव सो दैट मूवमेंट अपियर्स टू बी वेरी वेरी सिंबॉलिक वी विल डिस्कस द सिंबॉलिकल सिग्निफिकेंस लेटर दे पेस इन स्लिक शिवालिक सर्टेंटी सर्टेंटी हियर इंडिकेट्स द डिटर्मिनेशन अच्छा नेक्स्ट आंसर में देखो क्या अंड जेनिफर फिंगर फ्लैटरिंग थ्रू हर उल find even the ivory needle hard to pull the massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon aunt jennifer's hand so it is talking about aunt jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool uske fingers kaap rahe so when our fingers flutters jab hum darte hain ठीक है व्हेन वी फील नर्वस व्हेन वी फील अफ्रेड देन ओनली आवर फिंगर्स फ्लाटर एक मतलब क्विक बॉडी मूवमेंट होता है जब हमारे अंदर कोई नर्वसनेस काम करती है हम किसी के लिए डरते हैं ठीक है तो आंट जेनिफर्स फिंगर्स फ्लाटरिंग थ्रू हर उल 
through her embroidery through her wool she is feeling very much disturbed or very much nervous ठीक है एंड इसी के कारण कह रहा है फाइंड द आईवोरी नीडल फाइंड इवन आईवोरी नीडल हार्ड टू पुल दैट पर्टिकुलर नीडल जिसके थ्रू वो एम्ब्रॉयडरी कर रहे हैं दैट नीडल अपीयर्स टू बी वेरी हार्ड वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर हिम टू पुल इट आउट सॉरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर हर टू पुल इट आउट नेक्स्ट लाइन में बता रहे द मैसिव वेट ऑफ अंकल्स वेडिंग बैंड सिट्स हेविली अपॉन आंट जेनिफर्स हैंड द मैसिव वेट of uncle's wedding band so it talks about the operation within marriage the operation within marriage right so the massive weight the bond the marital bond theek hai wedding band means jo ek particular wedding ka symbol hota hai for every women to wear koi bangles ho sakta hai koi ring ho sakta hai theek hai aur koi bhi cheez hai jo aapko after marriage uh, हमेशा रखना होता है अपने साथ सो दैट अपियर्स टू बी वेरी वेरी वेटी फॉर हर बिकॉज हर मैरिज वॉज नॉट वेरी मच सैटिस्फैक्ट्री मैरिटल रिलेशनशिप वॉज नॉट वेरी मच सैटिस्फैक्ट्री एंड शी वॉज फीलिंग ऑप्रेस्ड सिट्स हेविली अपोन आंट जेनिफर सैंड सो दैट पर्टिकुलर वेडिंग बैंड इट अपियर्स टू बी Uh, though the band itself symbolizes the bonding of the two souls, bonding of the two human hearts, ठीक है जो marriage के एक holy atmosphere हम हम बताते हैं but actually it is not true. Actually it acts as a tool of oppression by the patriarchal society, which Kamala Das has beautifully described in her poems, right? तो उसी ऑपरेशन के बाद यहाँ पर कर रहे हैं आर ड्रीम ब्रिक ऑल्सो टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट पर्टिकुलर फ्रस्ट्रेशन इन साइड मैरिज दैट काइंड ऑफ टॉर्चर और डोमिनेशन गिवन बाय फैक्ट्री आर की यस absolutely massive weight word says all the situation of aunt her stress separation yes her responsibility and destroyed condition absolutely right ekta bhai this talking about that sit severely upon aunt jennifer side and last stanza is very symbolic when aunt is dead her terrified hands will lie till ringed with ordeals she was mastered by the tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid so the poet is saying that aunt jennifer will die obviously as a human being she must die so after a few moments she will die theek hai but her terrified hands will lie still ringed with ordeals she was mastered by she was mastered in the skills of embroidery so that thing will remain forever even after her death that thing will remain forever the tiger seen the panel that she made panel means on the cloth she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid तो जो एम्ब्रॉयडरी जो क्रिएशन उन्होंने किया है दैट पर्टिकुलर क्रिएशन विल ऑलवेज रिमेन इमोटल एज द सेम ठीक है उसका तो कोई चेंज नहीं होगा दो आंट जेनिफर विल डाई बट हर क्रिएशन विल रिमेन इमोटल सो दिस इज द अपरेंट मीनिंग ऑफ द टेक्स्ट ठीक है अब इसका इनर मीनिंग क्या है द पोएम वेरी सिंबॉलिकली टॉक्स अबाउट द वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट अगर एक लाइन में कहा जाए कि पोएम का थीम क्या है तो इट इज वेरी सिंबॉलिकली टॉकिंग अबाउट वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट एंड द पॉसिबिलिटीज एंड द पॉसिबिलिटीज और यू मे से द पोटेंशियलिटीज पोटेंशियलिटीज ऑफ अ वुमेन पोटेंशियलिटीज ऑफ अ वुमेन इन अ पैट्रियार्कल सोसाइटी सो एंड जेनिफर इज हियर सिंबॉलिकल ऑफ ऑल द वुमेन एंड दैट टाइगर tiger is the symbol of women empowerment here and jennifer is trying to say that women must behave like tigers they must behave fearlessly theek hai they must be uh, behave fearlessly and ye jo third line mein unhone bataya hai they do not fear the men beneath the tree so if we consider tiger as the symbol of powerful female characters then uh, uh, adrian rick is advising all the females that we should not be afraid of the male people 
though they are trying to uh, oppress us though they are trying to control us by standing beneath the tree and that standing remember also indicates a kind of uh, observation aap kisi ko dur se observe kar rahe ho so patriarchal society is always observing us but still we should not uh, forget that we must have that fearful attitude otherwise we cannot fight against all such inequalities so that tiger should not fear the men beneath the tree they must have chivalric certainty theek hai but still when aunt jennifer is trying to portray that kind of a revolutionary female character or that change in society she is afraid of herself theek hai because she herself is experiencing that kind of oppression to so, apne andar unke liye ek dar hota hai that is why she is feeling nervous her fingers are fluttering through her wool so it indicates that though she has a uh, try to or she is thinking of something a uh, new creation of something new or establishment of a new society where women should be at the center point ye to wo imagine kar rahe hain but jab wo soch raha hai ki isko hame lana hai in uh, reality to wo thoda sa dar rahe hain because this nervousness is very natural if we talk about if we talk about women in general so women always feel uh, scared of the patriarchal society and though they are getting progressive though they are getting advanced still they believe in the ideals of patriarchal society so aunt jennifer ke man mein ek dar hai ki jo society ko establish karna chahte hai kya wo waqai mein possible hoga agar possible hoga so how will patriarchal society react to it and how the women jiske liye itne sare वो बात कर रहे हैं वो वीमेन कैसे रिएक्ट करेगा विल दे लाइक टू बी गवर्न बाय देमसेल्व्स इन द एब्सेंस ऑफ मेल कैरेक्टर्स और दे वुड लाइक टू हैव द सिक्योरिटी एंड द प्रिविलेजेस फ्रॉम मेन तो क्या होगा इसके लिए उनके मन में एक डर द मैसिव वेट ऑफ अंकल्स वेडिंग बैंड सिट सेविली अपॉन आंट जेनिफर सेंट सो वी हैव जस्ट सेड दैट इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द ऑपरेशन ऑफ मैरिज एंड इन द लास्ट टेंस ऑफ in the last stanza we find a ray of hope in the last stanza we find a ray of hope or a kind of expectation positive expectation of a society associated with women empowerment so the poet is saying that aunt jennifer is just a representative of all uh, women so she will die one day but those tigers jinko unhone create kiya hai wo continue rahega is world which means that the poet should die but the idea of the poet jo unhone bataya gaya hai through this particular poetry must remain the same and we all the women figures must follow it we must behave like that tigers we must um, uh, we must uh, represent ourselves as the tigers powerful as the tigers and uh, we must establish the fact that we women are not weak and we have the capacity to govern ourselves so proud and unafraid jennifer to chala jayega but tigers ko wahi rehna hai jaise wo pehle tha jo uh, ek new society ka sapna poet dekh raha hai usko रियलिटी uh, uh, में लाने के लिए दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वीमेन शुड बिहेव लाइक टाइगर्स वीमेन शुड शो द पावर बिफोर मेन दे ऑल्सो मस्ट प्रूव दैट वी आर ऑल्सो इक्वल टू द मेल कैरेक्टर्स सो वी मस्ट हैव दोज पोटेंशियलिटीज विच और दोज अपॉर्चुनिटीज विच अ मेल कैरेक्टर कैन गेट फ्रॉम द सोसाइटी okay so that is about the poem aunt jennifer style it's a very small poem but talking about uh, beautifully the aspect uh, different aspects of feminism and also women empower theek hai to bas yahi tha aaj ke class mein aaj bahut sare bachchon ne join nahi kiya hai so whatever uh, that is for today's class aaj ek short poem hi tha so thank you for joining uh, this is the link of my telegram channel the link is also given in the description box so those of you who have not joined yet please join to get the notification of all important classes these are the timings of your classes so tomorrow at 8:30 pm we uh, we will meet again uh, with a new poem so don't forget to join me live please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notification
so thank you ekta thank you all uh, bye bye everyone see you uh, tomorrow good night for today